the MasterChef Canada finale, and Trevor and Taya have less than 15 minutes to complete their appetizers. We have never done a finale like this one. Three straight hours of cooking, and the clock does not stop. Taya's elevated corn panna cotta is up against Trevor's play on fish and chips using pressure-cooked octopus. Here is a defining moment for Trevor. I pulled the octopus out of the pressure cooker. It is perfect. It's so tender. <laughs> yeah. How am I doing, guys? Great. Fantastic. <laughs> I'm on track. And I know I have enough time to make every plate perfect. But the panna cotta is absolutely vital. If my panna cotta doesn't set, it's just like this the blob. And I might as well just give the first round to Trevor. Oh my gosh. Looking good. Ooh. Okay, wait, it's crumbling. The look I'm going for is a whole piece of charred corn on top of the panna cotta. This isn't good. It's falling apart. I gotta get this off. She's really struggling with the corn there. Come on, Taya. I just need to pick my other corn and pray for the best. This one's good. This one's good. Five minutes. You have five more minutes left. Both cooks are bringing this down to the wire. I mean, Taya has already started plating. Her dish looks incredible. And Trevor's got nothing on his plates right now. My strategy is to produce very artistic dishes that have a story. And that takes a lot of time. Trevor loves his fine details. He just loves to make sure that everything is absolutely perfect. Stay focused, buddy. Oh, yeah. Trevor, let's go! One minute! You have one more minute left. Come on, guys. You can get it done. You got this, girl. You got it. You got this, Dana. Come on, you got this! Trevor, yeah! It's down to the wire on every plate. Ah. This is the most pressure I've ever felt in this kitchen. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and end up. That was intense. All right. Absolutely gorgeous, Trevor. Woo! All right. Trevor and Taya, please keep working. Your appetizers look fantastic, and we can't wait to try them. The judges will now head into the dining room to privately taste both appetizers, while the home cooks continue with the entree round. I feel like I nailed the appetizer round. It's exactly how I wanted it to look. It's exactly how I wanted it to taste. Trevor should be incredibly scared because I know it tastes good. I've been studying plating, and it definitely shows in my appetizer. First is Trevor's braised and grilled octopus with purple and gold fingerling potatoes and a deconstructed lemon tartar sauce. So immediately, I could see this is a dish that Trevor thought very carefully about. This says elevated cuisine to me. But let's see how it tastes. Wow, that's incredible. The octopus is cooked to perfection. It's fresh, it's clean, it's tender. He was able to get the octopus to have a great flavor from that broth that he cooked it in. I think it could have done with a little bit more charring on that grill, just to give it a little bit more crispness and a touch of smokiness to it. The flavors of the aioli are incredibly bright and very, very tasteful. And the potato chips, nice and crispy, thin, perfect size. Next up is Taya's appetizer, a Mexican street-style corn with a corn panna cotta, zucchini blossoms, a jalapeno lime puree, and a watermelon and mint amuse-bouche. To me, it's clear that Taya has managed to elevate her plate presentation. I think this dish is her defining moment. We have never seen a more elegant, beautifully presented dish from Taya until now. And we have an amuse-bouche as well. Wow. Great beginning. The panna cotta is very good. A little on the sweet side, you get that big hit of corn and that charred corn on top. I thought it was just a very clever way to do it. This dish 
I cannot see anything wrong with it. And this is very, very rare. Uh, coming from the Demon Chef, you got all the different tastes. You got the sweet, that's balancing the acidity from the crema, you know, a little bit of hit slice at the end. The combination, it's amazing. She has really captured Latin American cuisine here. Well, gentlemen, let's get back into the kitchen and see what Taya and Trevor are up to for their main course.